We want to find those answers too, to help his family, obviously, um, figure out what happened and what led up to this. New at 5, investigators are searching for answers after a man was found dead inside the engine of a commercial airplane at Salt Lake City International Airport. The terrifying incident happened Monday night. It's just so hard to believe and imagine what well, officials revealed that the man actually crawled inside the engine after breaching an emergency exit and then ran onto the airport's runway. Well, Chief Transportation Correspondent Mickey Beeler joining us now with more on what investigators are now trying to piece together. Yeah, you know, this is bizarre. There's still a lot of questions, very little answers surrounding the case, but here's what we know so far. Investigators say 30-year-old Kyler Effinger had a plane ticket to Denver and he got through security Monday night. Well, an airport store manager called police after Effinger allegedly was causing problems in the terminal. Now, before police arrived, Effinger left out of an emergency exit inside the terminal. He ran out onto the airport's runway. A pilot reported seeing the man. Officers found his clothing and shoes scattered across one of the runways. Yeah. All right, just minutes later, they found him at the DI scene pad, unconscious, partially inside a wing-mounted engine. The pilot was told to shut the plane's engines down. The exact stage of the engine's operation remain under investigation, but the um, blades, the air blades, were circulating when officers arrived on scene. Our officers are going to work with our detectives as well out at the airport to look into his past to see if there was any red flags that may have been there. So this is bizarre. All right, um, first responders attempted life-saving efforts, but the man unfortunately died at the scene. Right now, there are no answers to exactly how he died. The investigation is ongoing, including an autopsy. As you mentioned, Mike, this is really bizarre. You're an experienced pilot, so is it difficult for someone to get into the engine of a plane? How exactly does that happen? So there are different reports. Was he in the engine? Right. I think, you know, you've got the cowling, and you can sit up in on the engine and then behind you are the fan blades mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you can sit up there in fact pilots we've the had pictures our, yeah. we've had our pictures taken flight attendants have their, so i'm assuming that's where he was because he can't crawl into the engine as he's on the ground he tries to, he can't and i talked to several mechanics today and pilots they said no when you first heard about this case i mean just as a pilot yourself I, bizarre is what we're calling this we don't know what his condition was I and mean, we know we talk a lot about People take, you know, medications before they get on a plane, before they go to the airport. Your mental health is a big issue that we're seeing, and we have no idea. Again, I want to make sure that's clear as to what happened in this case, but when you heard about this story, what came to mind? Well, obviously unstable. Yeah. The person's unstable. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought, he was in the engine? How can you be in the engine? You've got compressors in there, and you've got all these parts in the engine itself. So, and you know, why? and if, why if, if the engines were running and he's sitting near the intake fan, mm -hmm. He would have been sucked pulled right back, pulled, in. sucked okay. back into the blade. So we don't know what his injuries were. Bless him. Mm -hmm. It's just bizarre. Is this the first time you've heard of a case like this? First time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nothing surprises me anymore, though. Yeah. All right, Mickey. Thanks so much for your coverage.